everyone. How are you Hi. doing? Welcome back to our channel. We're La Vie Platon. I'm Mark and this is Rebecca. So on our last video, we talked about the things you might not like No, we do don't like. <laughs> in your RV. Top 10 things we don't like in our RV. And during this trip, we just discover one more thing that we don't like. Then we can just add it on. We got a number 11 now. Huh? <laughs> number 11. So what things do we don't like? Well, did you do to the toilet? I broke it. You broke it. <laughs> the last thing you want to happen during your trip, especially when you are traveling, right? <laughs> so the ball waste valve snapped basically and it wouldn't open up so you couldn't drain the bowl. So now you got a bowl filling up and you got to fix it. <laughs> which was a bit of a challenge because you couldn't even drain no. what was in there Yeah, it's uh, not easily. open at all. Yeah. So no. luckily, we were already having our ball leaking a little bit. We knew that needed to replace, so I ordered all the parts. I decided just to, to buy also a new valve because I figured it was probably time. <laughs> our RV is how old now? Yeah, good thinking. <laughs> so huh? you always have to think ahead. Our RV is 10 years old and, and certainly <laughs> it's showing some wear and tear for yeah. being full-timers. Mm -hmm. So. I had to make a decision. Do I call someone or do I smell the poo-poo and hug the tank? <laughs> and so for some reason I decided to fix it. Which it's always good when yeah. you can fix it yourself. Yeah. Save money and For me the solution that. is always call somebody. <laughs> There's him, no way she was gonna do that yeah, job, let me tell you. The solution is always DIY. Do it yourself. If it's not, if it didn't work out, then we call somebody. That's right. <laughs> and especially we have a pot already, so he decided to give it a try. So let's see how do we fix it. We're going to teach you how to fix your own. Yeah, so this uh, video is going to be very educational, informative, if you plan to fix the toilet yourself. Yeah. And it RV. won't be the happiest pretty <laughs> video we've ever so made. Be prepared. So there are other happier ones than this, yeah. but it is reality. We have to give you a warning in advance, <laughs> heads up. If you are eating, stop watching. Yeah. <laughs> right, that's a good idea. Yeah, wait until... You finish dinner. I, I don't recommend it. Yeah, no. <laughs> and also, as always, thanks for joining our channel. We hope you subscribe and like and yeah. comment mm -hmm. down below. And uh, click that little bell that will give you a new uh, message every time we get a new video up online so you can yeah. see it right away. Mm -hmm. We really appreciate it. Yeah, so this channel is all about sharing our full-time RV living experiences and that uh, we take RV travel everywhere. So let's now... Get, let's get down and dirty. <laughs> let's get down to business. <laughs> Go. So what are you doing over there? I'm trying to figure out if I can fix it. Can you? Sure, you but it's a it? pretty stinky job, I think. <laughs> you want to spend your holiday on fixing toilet? Mm. <laughs> Depends on how quick it is. <laughs> how did you break the toilet? Something snapped in there. I pushed down on it and it went snap. <laughs> Luckily, I knew we had to fix it because the uh, the seal wasn't sealing anymore, right? Yeah, the water was uh -huh. leaking out, so the order could kind of come up. So I'd, I was just going to order the seal, and I thought, well, I might as well replace everything because it's going to break. So I bought both the mechanism, that valve. the ball valve itself, and then the seal also. So mm -hmm. I got to now decide whether I'm going to fix it or I'm going to have someone else do the stinky job. Call, just call. <laughs> <laughs> So I just turned the water off. Now the main, uh -huh. as long as you don't turn the pump on, you shouldn't have any water in. Right now, when you push down on the valve, it doesn't release the water from the bowl because the ball doesn't move. The ball's stuck <laughs> shut. I guess that's better than stuck open. Yeah, we don't want this. And now that. I need to flush the tank. I should do that right now to get the smell out of there. And watch there. your feet. You might get wet. I flush the tank. Oh, I can smell it. Look. Sure you can. I can smell the honey. Smell the honey? Yeah. Not a good smell, honey. Are you flushing the black tank? Flushing the black tank. I shut the, the tank just to fill a little water up in there to get all the particles out. Oh. Pull it, and it comes out. So I think what I'll do is I'll just flush funny. the tank for a while, too. Uh -huh. good. And then turn the water off. Well, I'll flush that for a while and see how things are in the inside. Yeah. This is what it should like leaving a little water in a bowl 
for a vapor barrier so there's no smell. But when I push down on it, you can see there's a ball valve here. Not, not moving. So it's filling up. Luckily, our ball valve seal leaks, so it's going to drain. Otherwise, it would just fill up. Not easy to get that off. Huh? Okay, just going to figure out how okay. to do it. So you got to take the bowl off first. They call for a half inch uh, wrench. So I've got a, a ratchet wrench here underneath nut. You're going to drive. Doesn't take much to get it off. Be careful that you don't drop it though, as it can be the case. It looks like there's a washer in here also. Of course, washer is off and nut. There we go. Okay, we're going to take the bowl off now. Got to disconnect the water line. I think this will need a wrench to do it. Also got to drain the water. Sorry, I can't get a camera in here, but it's a little, a little hard to reach. And there's your bowl. And you can see what I disconnected here is a spring release clip. I put that on a garbage bag to keep it clean. And now you can see what we have here, see the ball valve, which is not functioning right now. And then behind here is the water inlet to rinse the bowl. Fun stuff. This seal just pulls right off. And you can see it's all corroded or carbonized. Got a lot of calcium deposits on it. Throw that baby away. And the ball cock is not much better. In the, in the instructions that every man reads later on, <laughs> you turn off the water supply, flush the toilet to drain, which we had a problem with, Re remove the shroud, the bottom part here, to access the, uh, the main area where the bolts are. You do that by pull, uh, pushing the pedal so down while you unhook the two O-rings at the bottom and the back, and then you spread the shroud out and pull it out so basically it comes out like that that's what's like in the back you got to kind of lift up the bottom or I'm sorry that I think we had the top to get it out they say to place towels behind the toilet under the water connection disconnect the water supply from the valve which I've done remove the closest flange bolt cover lift the toilet from the they call it closet. Remove the closet flange bolt covers and nuts. Lift the toilet from the floor and place it on a trash bag. Cover the holding tank opening. Remove old closet flange seals and discard. Removing now the old waste ball. Remove the return spring from the drive link with the needle nose pliers. There's a spring right back here. I guess I need a better light in here. If you don't have one, it's handy to have one of these so you can see what you're doing and you fit it about anywhere. Sorry for the mess back here, but you know, you can't ever get back here to clean. You can see that there's a spring right here, it needs to be removed, and then we'll go from there. Take your needle nose to get the spring off. Didn't even really need needle nose, just pulling the spring. There's a hook on the bottom. What that spring does, it keeps the water valve shut. And also, it never hurts to uh, take a picture from the backside so you know what you're looking at. So that's what the assembly looks like with the three screws. You need to take those off. Looks like I might need a shorter screwdriver. Here's what the new ball valve looks like to let the water in and out. 
and then you got a bottom seal here and a seal for the ball and what that does is that sits here like this and then this is what you normally see as it rotates it opens up to flush the honey out and then shuts removing the three screws for the water inlet valve and that will come off the pedestal and I also have to disconnect the drive I think it's called a drive rod yeah okay that's free I heard someone say oh uh oh that's what broke right. what, what's that that's what broke drive arm screw yeah that's this that's what broke that's what that's the ball valve itself. So you push here right. and it starts to come straight up. You just compress these together uh -huh. so it comes out. Okay. Sorry to show you the not so pleasant view here. <laughs> yeah, it's part of life. I should look down there and see how bad it is inside. Oh, a little bit of poo poo in there. Don't drop this thing. <laughs> Don't drop flashlight into the toilet. <laughs> into the poo poo tank. Can you enjoy the view down there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you looking Because I want to so see long. how clean it is. New part. This end has got to go in the back. This way. Just like that. It swings back and forth. Mm -hmm. Looking good. Two got gloves. Fresh hands. There's a hook for the spring. And that goes. There we go. Really hard to see, but that's how it goes. There we go. Springs on. Where's the spring? Right here. Where? Which one? Oh, it's that's a spring. Mm -hmm. I think we're good to go. Test it. Oh. Okay. Looking good. Put the new gasket on. It sits down in here. Compression fits. I thought it was more complicated than that. It just sits there. And there's a little, kind of a little springy on here to keep it sealed. Mm -hmm. I'm going to also. O ring, right? That's yeah, it's an O ring. I'm going to take and put some Vaseline on her to keep it lubed a little better. Okay, mm -hmm. put the bowl back on. Connect the hose. Yep. Okay. Now you just got to figure out what angle you want. Okay. Should we test it before we do anything else? Yeah, I think so. Turn the water on. Oh, it's working. Okay. Looking good. Put the bolts back on and we are done. Yeah. Alternate screws or nuts so you don't unevenly load it. Okay, one more. Tighten them up and then I think we're done. Can you believe that? Yeah. How long it takes you? I got the timing. About 11 o'clock I started. Two hours. I think there's a melody. Let's take a look. The key is you want one of these wrenches too. Ratchet. It'll save you a lot of time. Mm, easier, huh? Mm. 
I'm using a 13 millimeter. You can use a half inch standard also. Yeah, we're lucky we had the parts, right? Mm -hmm. If we didn't have the parts, we would have been moving a while. We'll be at school. And you know an RV store would have charged an arm and a leg for the same parts. I think this kit was like 30 bucks or 40 <laughs> bucks. Yeah, I can get that part on Amazon. Make sure they're tight enough that you don't, the bowl doesn't fall off when you're going down the road. You don't want your wife dropped into honey. <laughs> <laughs> we can add this to the things we don't like about RVs. Yeah, another thing that another now video. happened. <laughs> if you haven't seen that video, yeah, go check we got a video out. 10 top things we don't like about our RV. This would be number 11. <laughs> but it would be the top one. We will start a new list. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think we're done here. Look at that. Well, my Bailey's talking a lot. Uh -huh. My Bailey's Hungry? talking a lot. <laughs> No, no, it's 12.30. Time for lunch. Yeah. I'm not very hungry. <laughs> gotta, i got to change my mind for a little while. <laughs> mind over matter here, huh? <laughs> now you know why guys like to go poop behind a bush. <laughs> we'll have to repair these. If we have the disposal one, the mobile... Compost? Compost, yeah. And you got to pull, move your poop every couple of days. But you don't need to fix it. Hey, I gotta do something with poop. Either way, you got, either way you got some kind of smelly dough. But it's easier to, to but use But if you poop in a forest, which, you know, animals do, other than groundwater contamination problems, yeah. which is the big issue with too yeah, many we people. We don't want to. But you wouldn't that. have to move your poop. Mm. But that's uh, polluted the environment. That's the smelly water. truth. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Nice and clean. Pretty good. Let's see if we can get this on there. You need to lock it down on the front, on the back. Yep. Got a little scrap here. Ta-da! Ta-da! Case closed. Case <laughs> closed. <laughs> good job. Give me five. Good job, Mark. Give me five. No, I don't think so. Oh, <laughs> what? Give me five, come on. Give me five. Now time for you to take a shower. I'll take one tomorrow. No! <laughs> okay. Yes, one more thing we experienced. That's good. We have more to share. Good job, Mark. Thank you. You can get a kiss. Mm. <laughs> So now you finish watch this video. We hope this video is not so disturbing. <laughs> and but now you know life is not always a bed of roses. Sometimes it stinks. Yeah. <laughs> and this stunk. <laughs> but we got through it, took about two hours and saved probably a couple hundred bucks yeah. in doing so. Yeah. So I hope you learned something from this video and when you have that problem, you can come back and refer to it to fix it. Yeah. And so something we didn't do is uh, when you fix the toilet, it's actually it's better to wear a mask. Uh, Mark didn't do that. Didn't have a mask. Yeah, because we didn't have a mask. Yeah. So if you plan to fix the toilet. I was lucky I had the tools I had. <laughs> so wear gloves. Definitely, you don't want to touch yeah, that with your Yeah, bring extra gloves, hands. towels, <laughs> dirty towels. Yeah, get your... Or old every, towels. Yeah, get everything prepared. Wet wipes mm. to keep everything kind of clean and sanitized mm -hmm. and so. obviously wash and take a wash and take a shower after uh, finishing your <laughs> successful project. So you don't want to mess up uh, areas around you while you are fixing it. Now we have a pearl clean white <laughs> yeah, ball so joint. Pearl. We are not so used to it. <laughs> oh, it's so clean. <laughs> and remember, don't give your wife a high five after you done it. <laughs> but you will get the brownie, brownie points, points. <laughs> so to speak. Hubby will get brownie points for fixing the poo poo tank, the poo poo uh, yeah. reward, stool. <laughs> the poo poo reward. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, we hope you find this uh, video is very helpful and hands on information that you all, all you need uh, fixing the toilet. Yeah, if you have any questions too, just ask questions down below. We'll try and respond in a timely manner. Hopefully it's not too urgent and you know it's <laughs> filling out the top or something like that. But yeah, we hope we show. We, we hope to help help other RVers yeah. fix their issues. Yeah, we hope we show everything in the video because sometimes the camera cannot. Yeah, uh, get it's a to little hard angle. to show some yeah. of the backside because uh -huh. you can't get a camera in there. Yeah. So, so we kind of apologize for that. I could slide my <laughs> cell phone in there to get some shots, but yeah. it was really hard to get the video of some of the actual workings of the mechanics. Okay, thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, like it. Well, we hope you like this video even though it stinks. <laughs> Maybe harder to like this video, huh? <laughs> I hope you do. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next time on La, La Vie Flottante. Take the care. Bye-bye. Oh, you were going to say the floating life, weren't you? Yeah, but it's okay. No problem. We don't need to say that. No. Yeah. Everyone knows. I yeah, we'll help you know. <laughs> Bye. 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 Camera is on and my hair is a mess.